avocado was considered a junk food in the 1980s. However, it's now one of the many superfoods that almost every diet includes for its high nutritional value. How did such change happen? Is the popularity of avocado a propaganda? Watch this video till the end to know about it all. Hey folks, welcome back to Conspiracy Theorists, your go-to channel for all the strange, mysterious conspiracy theories. In today's video, we'll see how avocado was considered junk food in the 1980s and how it became the fruit of life in modern times. So let's begin. Although Americans had enjoyed avocados for hundreds of years, it was not until the early 1980s that this exotic fruit became popular around the country. In 1990, each American ate about one kilogram of avocados a year. But in April of that same year, the FDA banned avocado imports and sales due to various health concerns. And suddenly, they were no longer considered healthy food. Why has avocado now become a healthy fruit that is in demand around the world? The California Avocado Association, in an effort to reverse the ban by the FDA, approached Hill & Knowlton Strategies, a public relations consulting company, in 1991. The group accused nutritionists of lying about avocado, calling it a fatty food that makes people fat and leads to obesity. They hoped that these consultants would devise a marketing plan that will overcome this ban and change how people view avocados. After two hours of hard work, the California Avocado Association left the office with their heads held high. Over the next 20 years, avocado's image and popularity soared to new heights. In 2015, avocados were dubbed superfoods by online media and major publications. It was promoted as being healthy and luxurious, a trendy food for people who want to eat well. But what exactly did Hill and Milton Strategies do on behalf of its clients? Here's how it all started. In 1925, a postman named Rudolf Haas read an article in a magazine about avocado. The story told how the Aztecs and Mayans revered avocado as the magic fruit with aphrodisiac qualities. The story predicted that the fruit would be a big hit in America and Haas loved gardening from an early age. Upon reading this prediction, he decided to quit his job and tried growing some avocados himself. It took 10 years for him to grow a perfect avocado, one that has rich taste and lots of fat. The fruit ripens in about 20 days after it's picked. It retains its quality for long periods of time and it's easy to transport and store. It was positioned in the high-end market and sold at the price of a dollar each. At that time, one dollar could feed an entire family for a day. Has convinced the private chefs of some wealthy Americans to include avocado in their recipes, telling them that it was good to eat with salad and dipping sauce on toast. The taste was great, so they continued serving the fruit among other rich families. By the 1980s, the United States had a strong economy. A lot of people were making money, and avocados were very popular among Americans. Since then, the California Avocado Association had become a very powerful economic body. But they encountered the junk food crisis in 1990. The story goes back to the marketing plan they discussed with Hill and Knowlton Strategies. In response, Hill and Knowlton Strategies advised the California Avocado Association to emphasize the health benefits of avocados, rather than focusing on its high fat content. It's impossible for a person to consume no fat. People who are worried about eating too much fat at the gym have generally not rejected all fatty foods. They simply want a reasonable excuse for indulging in them. Over the next two decades, a great deal of television programming focused on healthy lifestyles and featured celebrities advertising the benefits of eating avocados. In 2015, the avocado was at its peak. It went out of the United States to the world. Avocados are becoming increasingly trendy. The caveman diet, which advocates eating only the kinds of foods our prehistoric ancestors would have had access to, has also expanded over recent years. They advocate a caveman-like diet. Raw foods like avocados, corn, and red meat are becoming the standard accompaniments to a healthy lifestyle. Currently, Americans consume more than 80 million pounds of avocados a year, the majority in the form of guacamole, a dip made with mashed avocados, salt, and lime juice. But don't underestimate this fruit's versatility. It can be used in everything from smoothies to salads. Is avocado truly a healthy food? Or is it just propaganda fabricated by the Hill and Knowlton Strategies and the California Avocado Association whose business interests depend on persuading us that avocados are good for us? 
The question of whether avocados are a healthy food or not remains to be seen. That was the video, guys. Do you have any conspiracy theories about avocado? To know more about this case and other conspiracy theories around it, comment below and let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to regularly receive our content. Thanks for watching.